In this video, we'll look at whether CuSO4 is acetic, basic, or neutral when we dissolve it in water. So this is copper 2 sulfate, and when it's dissolved in water, will the solution be acetic, basic, or neutral? To do that, we need to know the equation, the neutralization reaction, that made the copper sulfate. So to get the copper sulfate, we have copper hydroxide, copper 2 hydroxide, that's our base, and then sulfuric acid. They react, we get copper 2 sulfate, and then we get water. So first thing, to use the rules, we need to know the strength of this base and this acid here. We can use this table right here to do that. So here's our table, and we can see that copper 2 hydroxide, we're looking at bases, we know this hydroxide, that tells us we have this metal and a hydroxide, that's a base. So we look down, we don't see it on our list. That means that copper 2 hydroxide, that's a weak base. I'm going to write WB above it. H2SO4, sulfuric acid, that's right here. So this is a strong acid. So now we know the strength of the base and the acid. So now let's use these rules to see whether CuSO4 is acetic, basic, or neutral. We're looking, we have a weak base and a strong acid. So here's a weak base and a strong acid. That means when we have this reaction, the resulting solution with the copper 2 sulfate dissolved in the water, pH will be less than 7. So it's going to be acetic. So in answer to our question, according to our rules here, copper 2 sulfate, when it's dissolved in water, solution, that's going to be acetic. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.